Hi there and welcome to this uh, review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Indian Night Jasmine by The uh, Body Shop. It's um, kind of just a high street brand, not, not niche, not designer, but I really like the smell of it so I thought I'd do a quick review. Now The Body Shop, um, it was founded by Anita Roddick in 1976 and in 2012 they launched a collection called Sense of the World and this is uh, one of those particular um, uh, fragrances from that collection. It's, uh, it's Well let's have a little look around the bottle first. Uh, yeah, you can see the name on the back. Everything and just a sort of okay bit of a plasticky cap but I do like the design on the bottle. It's, Oh, that was classic. Obviously, um, I'm not even going to edit that out because that's part of the review. The cap's crap. Um, the way that just did that. I thought I could lift it up by it, but it doesn't. It slips on and slips off. So, that's a interesting part of the review. The cap is no good. But, let's get back on track after that. So, it's actually classed as a floral. I personally would class it as an oriental floral. It's got a really simple note breakdown. It's basically just jasmine, orange blossom, violet leaf, and sandalwood. And, and that's it. It's just uh, four, four notes. Um, that really put me off my stride the way that smashed down there. <laughs> so, but I say, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on editing now on my videos. And, and I'm, I want to concentrate more on the review rather than all the fancy um, things that pop up and stuff like that. Because it just makes things so time consuming. And all I really want to do is give a review on what this smells like and how long it lasts, etc. So another thing I want to try and do while I'm on sort of uh, on camera is I want to, my channel consists of lots of other interests as well. I enjoy sort of cooking, I enjoy doing blogs or vlogs and all that sort of stuff. But what I want to try to do at one point is um, make it kind of like a fragrance Friday. So once a week on a Friday at a set time, UK time, is when I upload my fragrance related um, reviews. Whether reviews or anything to do with perfumery will be once a week without fail at a certain time. I can't do that at this precise time because obviously, um, uh, you know, real life stuff outside of YouTube has to take priority and I can only upload as and when I can. But eventually, if I can kind of manage my time a bit better, I can make a, you know, a once a week feature at a set time so everybody knows when they're going to get a review. A bit like a channel on TV, you know, they tune in at a certain time on a certain day to watch their favourite programme. And that's what I'm hoping to eventually achieve with the fragrance reviews. And then, um, you know, be able to post all my other content as well. But the people who enjoy my fragrance reviews know when it's going to come, when when one's going to be posted. And uh, try and streamline my channel and make it a bit more professional so I can cater for all the tastes and, you know, uh, interests that I have. So anyway, back onto this review. Sorry, a quick ramble there. Um, <clears throat> now, I've sprayed this on and obviously made notes about it. And to me... When I first spray it, I get loads of the jasmine. I get absolutely tons of jasmine and a hell of a lot of the orange blossom as well. I couldn't detect any sandalwood, not to straight away. Let me just smell again. I've got it on both hands, a dry down and um, a non-dry down, one a fresh one. Mm. Straight away, I say, it's very soft, it's powdery, it's sweet, opulent and, um, and, and kind of warming as well. This, at the moment, it, it kind of reminds me of walking, you know, in the countryside on a really warm but humid day. Or or possibly a kind of a balmy evening and you're getting all these... Oh yes, yeah, so, so really nice smell. You're getting sort of, as I say, it's like a warm evening with the, um, the breeze just wafting the aromas of kind of wild flowers around. Um, predominantly, obviously, jasmine. And uh, and the violet, but it's it's very it's nice and sweet. I think this is a unisex, but it does lean slightly towards a more feminine side. Now, smelling the other hand, uh, mm, I've definitely got some of the sandalwood popping in now. It's all rounding off nicely. I'm getting everything I did in the opening, but the sandalwood's creeping through. It's, I think, it's a very innocent yet. Quite complex, even though there's only four notes, 
it, it is quite complex in its um, structure. It's very, uh, it's light, slightly warming, slightly floral, hints of sandalwood. The best way I can describe it is, like I said, it's like walking um, in sort of a, a country area where there's plenty of um, wild flowers around. And the, you know, the warm day is bringing them out to bloom. And then the breeze is wafting their kind of pollen up into the air. Mmm, I really like it. Now the dry down hand is still, it's still there. So it's still strong and it's been on quite a while, the actual dry down one. I'm going to um, cut this video now and I'm going to get back to it in about an hour's time and see what both smell like then. Right, it's been um, just over an hour now actually, and the dry down is still there. So it's got a good, you know, it's lasting quite a while for a sort of um, relatively cheap perfume, I guess. And that's still there. And, you know, every so often I was getting little wafts of, of actually both hands as well. So it's the, the performance is there for a cheap, cheap, well, compared to some of the, um, you know, niche fragrances out there and indie fragrances. This is a, a high street cheapo, but it's performing really well. It's almost got kind of an amber feel to it as well now, and the orange keeps popping up. It should have sort of died down a bit more into the sandalwoody side of things, but all the ingredients are sort of still there. The violet has, has gone away a little bit now, so I'm kind of getting a sandal, well, a, a jasmine, fruity orangey, with a little hint of sandalwood. There's some sort of almost amber quality to it, uh, slightly creamy, yet also very fresh. Yeah, I think I've kind of done all I can with this review, really. That's what it is. It's, the performance is okay. And it's just a lovely oriental... You know, I could picture somebody like in a it's in India, as I say, you know, walking along the more kind of rural areas of India where flowers are growing and stuff like that and, and the heat of, of, of the, um, obviously, the climate there. Somebody wearing this and it just wafting across on the breeze. Really nice, cosy, slightly sexy as well, I think. Mm, I'd find it very sexy on a woman now it's dried down. Yeah, that's it for this review. I will catch you in the next one. As I say, um, my all my videos just go up as and when I can for the time being. It's all kind of ad hoc. Um, you know, you never know what you're going to get and when it's going to arrive. <laughs> but um, hopefully in time as... Possibly the channel grows and I can start spending a bit more time with it. Um, I can start streamlining things and putting things in on, on specific days. So people that are interested in, in Photoshop shop tutorials will tune in on a Wednesday. And people that are interested in fragrance will tune in on a Friday. That's how I want to kind of streamline my channel. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm waffling. Uh, I doubt whether anybody's even here. If you are here at the end, leave a comment. Say yes. I stay till the end. Okay, I'll see you in the next review. Take care now. Bye.